you know, Africa is the new is the new norm. I think if I can bring a sense of pride to a country that feels like they don't have nothing and feels like all they have is hope. I feel like it's the beginning of something special. I've heard it from the time that I was little that black kids aren't good at swimming for whatever reason. I was born asthmatic and basically they told me not to partake in sport. I was on my own and you don't have control about what's going to happen. If that happens to you, what can you do? The type of pressure we're going through is not, you know, life or death, but it is. It is the type of pressure that's either going to make you or break you. There's nights where I cried myself to sleep, you know, because just being in a refugee camp where, you know, you only eat maybe once or twice a week or get water, like, you know what I'm saying? It was those were the, those were the things where that will forever stick with me. In my heart, I just believe that's a, that's a bigger calling that's outside of, my, that's outside of me to, to do things for other people that will just change their lives. So that's, the, that's, the, that's why I keep pushing. In the beginning, I just didn't know what it means to be black in America. So there were a lot of things that uh, I just didn't understand. Growing up in Africa, where pretty much almost everybody is black, uh, you really don't even know that you're black. Big brother Muhammad right here. Earlier this year, in July, we went, our family went through a great tragedy. My brother lost his son. He will be my motivation until my last day. It's, it's a part of my life. It's a part of who, what makes me a fighter. I feel like representing my country at the world stage is the biggest thing I've ever can done because it's just not given to everybody to do that. Remember where you are and who you are and where you're from. Draw strength from that. Some of the values that you have as an African kid um, are what would take you the furthest. Just because you're in Africa, just because you're in a little corner or a bush or whatever you are, you can be found. Stay true to yourself and you'll be wherever you wanted to be.